Okay, time to fix this mess with that frog we got. Yes, a frog. Boom. Really like it. Well, time for some kissy kissy. And gone. Are you recovered from that embarrassing bout of narcissism tonight? Oh, yes, Flicker. That was indeed a torturous, uh, yet somehow stimulating spell. Thank you for saving me. I consider the debt paid in full if you would take me on as your squire. Oh, bother. I'd love to, but I couldn't do a thing for you. I'm way over my squire quota. Try Sir Lounge a lot. He's looking for a squire. Come on now. No pouty faces. Here's a gift for you. I'm honored, Sir Knight. This is clearly a family heirloom, handed down through generations. Don't be silly. I have another 30 crates in my boudoir. Yep. Got a ton of them. That's not a reward. Okay. Hey, Sir Lancelot's out of the woods. Well, let's go pay a visit to the castle real quick. So we can uh, listen to the king's conversation with his knights. Or at least one of them. He could have had more, but I didn't really think it was that important. Anything after visiting the pool, Sir Blaze? No, sire. I hope it will not reflect poorly on me. Interesting. I wonder what that means. <laughs> as soon as all my knights are back, we shall discuss what to do next. Well, obviously it was a joke. A play on words. Excuse me. Go play, Flicker. We're waiting for Sir Loungelot to return so that we can reconvene. Jeez. What, not gonna send the others out to go meet with him? Like, no, I can't be bothered with that. It's too much effort. Okay. You actually can use the map for quick travel here. By looking at it with your eye. Well, let's head out. We could go visit the Lady of the Lake, but we can't really do anything with her right now, so there's no point. Okay. So lounge a lot. I've been looking all over for you. I've been looking all over for the Black Dragon. I challenged the coward hours ago, and he still hasn't engaged me in combat. Combat? With him? Combat? With him? Surely you jest. No, I don't. Yeah, it's that other guy's job to jest, and he's terrible at it. I thought the king only wanted you to get information about the Black Dragon. Ha! Huh. King Oldfire will forget all about that when I come home dragging the beast by its tail. <laughs> you think you can? You expect the Black Dragon to come down here? Why not? It's his turn. After all, I had to trudge all the way up the hill to challenge the brute. It's only fair he should come down to me for the battle. Gotcha. Is there any way I can talk you out of this challenge? No! It's a matter of honor now. Sir Loungelot, about the Black Dragon. This is no time for talking. I'm a dragon of action. And I'll sit here and wait for that dragon as long as I have to. Even if it's an entire lifetime. Well, honestly, we gotta walk up the path. I mean, come on. Black Dragon is a machine. That makes sense. No self-respecting dragon would ever work for Sir George. It's quite the ugly dragon, too. Well, conduct the test. Honestly, there's only one thing to do here. Yes, very underachieving peasants. But tossing the cat. Ooh, this is gonna go poorly. into those redwood trees, coward! Some warrior you are! Ah, <laughs> oh, man, smashed flat, I love it. Simpleton, this is all your fault! And no one noticed our hand arm, you know, tossed the cat, huh? Sir Loungelot, what happened? Did you not see it yourself? First the fiend was not alone, he brought several of his friends! No doubt it's a grand tale, but first I have something to ask you. Very well, what is it? Um, yeah, let's go with this one. So, the others are jokes, though, I guess we'll include them. You know I admire you, don't you? 
I'm not sure I like where this is going, Flicker. If you get funny on me, you'll regret it. Got that right. I'm looking for a knight to squire under. And you want me to be that knight? Out of the question. You're not qualified. <laughs> I'm not, eh? On a mission like this, you wear chain mail? Yes, what of it? Mail is fine if you're conquering a continent, but for tracking down dragons, I would have picked out a light wall. While tracking, you need to be light on your feet. You seem to know quite a bit about battlefield wear. I've just now decided that you will be my new squire. If you insist. Tis settled. Now, here's something I think you will need. Soap? Not common soap, simpleton. It's my privately blended laundry detergent for my undergarments, which I expect my squire to scrub every morning. Sir Loungelot, I'm overwhelmed by your generosity. You're very welcome. Now, back to Camelhot, so I can tell the others of my grand battle. I know, right? Truly, it was a grand, epic battle. One of the greatest in all of history. King Allfire, the Black Dragon has been defeated. Say what? Oh, it hasn't. Good work, Sir Loungelot. You will make a fine king and husband to my lovely flame when you win the... T I mean, <laughs> if you win the tournament tomorrow. <laughs> I am not about to stand here and be given away as a prize in a contest. Blast it all. Flicker, see if you can cool flames. Flames a bit, would you? Yes, you're firm but fair dictatorship, but first I have vital news about the Black Dragon. What could you possibly have to report, my puny squire? That the Black Dragon is actually... a machine! Yes! <laughs> a machine! Okay, okay, nice. Settle down. We shall resume later. Yes, okay. much later. Now please go watch Princess Flame for me. All right, your purple mountain's majesty. Ooh, trying to insult him there to his face. Bold. And foolish. I'm running away. But I just became a squire flame. If I make knighthood by tomorrow, I can win your hand in the tournament. Sorry, can't chance it. Now, help me find something to lower out the window for me to climb down. Well, let's put the soap away. I'm not getting any younger here. I know, is right? Flame? What is it, Flicker? I'm running out of time. Well, where will you go, anyway? Where will you go? Wherever the mood takes me. As long as they have room service. Wow. Maybe I should come with you. Hmm, I don't know. We'll be on the run. Never more than a few feet apart. Eating in each other's arms, always brushing up against each other. Oh, perish the thought. I know, right? I'm afraid. Afraid that I'll be at the mercy of a harsh and cruel world? I'm afraid of what will happen when your father learns I helped you escape. He'll have me skinned, beaten, flayed, shot, hogtied, deep fried, and drawn and quartered. Selfish sometimes. I know, right? <laughs> I'll let you finish your packing. Well, I suppose I'll do it for this episode. Next time, I guess we can offer the hair, right? Until then, see ya.